So today I'm going to install this OBD2 connector um, on an old Honda Accord um, petrol and um, it's always it's also been converted into CNG so I'm going to test the car's performance and on CNG it's giving a mileage between uh, 11.5 to 20 kilometers per kilogram of CNG but on uh, petrol I think the mileage is very low I'm between 4 to 7 kilometers per liter so I'm going to try and see if that mileage increases and this is an old um, uh, OBD2 connector which I had bought earlier for my diesel Hyundai Sonata transform so this one has definitely helped in improving the performance as well as mileage on my Hyundai Sonata um, so I am getting a mileage of around 16 to 18 kilometers per liter uh, while earlier I was getting only 13 to 15 officially ARAI mileage figures are just about 12 kilometers per liter actually less than 12 kilometers per liter so my Sonata has always given me higher than official mileage figures uh, probably because of my driving style but uh, this has definitely improved the mileage and also I think the low end torque has also got increased so I'm hoping similar results with this petrol or benzene cars as they say um, like what I got on Sonata but uh, of course uh, I don't believe that I have got 35% more power or 25% more torque torque might have got increased by like 10 to 15 percent or something um, but of course not 25 percent or something so I'm hoping a similar result um, not something extraordinary with this connector they sell on Amazon uh, fairly cheap for around 600 rupees Indian rupees so hopefully um, this benzene cars OBD2 connector works well now, if you go through um, front and back, they have exactly the same literature except for the color and uh, what's written on top, diesel cars or benzene. So I'm not sure whether they are the same uh, thing or different thing or whether they are for real or not. But while using them on my diesel car, I am definitely seeing some improvements. So hopefully they are doing their job. Otherwise, spending around uh, 600 rupees um, or $10, uh, it's not such a big deal. So it's basically the literature is essentially the same. Uh, what you get between both petrol and diesel. Maybe I'll just pull this off. So there is no seal on these. Uh, so you can just take it off. So this is what it says. Nitro OBD2 is a plug and drive ready device to function in the increasing the performance of the engine. Uh, I think, um, of course, the English is not that great. Um, Nitro OBD2, OBD2 is easy to install. Just plug into the OBD2 connector of the car. Nitro OBD2 fits all cars from the year 1996. It works based on OBD2 protocol as remapping the car's computer ECU after driving 200 kilometers total. Nitro OBD2 adjusts itself to the car according to the driver's habit and always keep remapping the ECU to increase the performance of the engine. Um, so it was very difficult to read um, this um, English. Um, it's, it, it, does, it does have some errors but hopefully um, the device gives some results to justify at least the tiny cost of tiny price of just about less than ten dollars ten US dollars so I will update you with my results so I think exactly the same thing is written here uh, for the diesel cars so there's no difference on the packaging except for the color combination so this one came in um, 
red or orange uh, color so the same color uh, the connector was also uh, the same so which is currently in my Hyundai Sonata and this one is a uh, orange color one for petrol cars thank you for watching I'll come up with a follow-up video